everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a requested by you makeup tutorial video. I say tutorial, it's not really a tutorial, it's just my makeup routine. In one of my last videos, I think it was April Favorites, a few of you guys asked me to show you how I did my makeup in that video and here I am trying to remember what in the world did I use on that day to make myself look not too shabby. So this is the look that we're going to be recreating, so if you guys are interested, then keep watching. So I have already moisturized my face and I used my Origins Ginseng Under Eye Cream. The reason why I like to use that one in the morning, it almost has like micro glitter to it, which it's not glitter, but it reflects the light really nicely, which will brighten up your under eye area. And I have already used my SPF, the one that I'm using at the moment is the Neo survival 30 it doesn't have any silicones it's a mineral SPF and I really like it it comes with an applique like that and it almost has a bit of color to it it's kind of like a very nude beige does that make any sense <clears throat> then I'm gonna prime my face and this is the originals original skin pore perfecting cooling primer I really like this one it smells very nice when it's applied and I quite like the theater of it because it comes out like a foam and then it spreads out really nicely on your skin and it has that very cooling effect. Today is actually quite warm in UK which is a very big surprise for us. I always have like a good makeup day when I use this primer. The foundation that I used that day and the one that I'm using today is the Fit Me Maybelline Matte Poreless um, Foundation in 115. I am going to use my beauty blender to apply it. I really like this foundation, it's really light. You can build it up to like medium coverage, um, but I like the finish of it. It's not too matte, not too like drying, um, doesn't exaggerate your pores, it doesn't really get really dry and flaky between my brows, which a lot of foundations do. The other day I was on a shoot and I had my Charlotte Tilbury face in a palette palette with me and I dropped it and I nearly cried. I mean, it's, I know it's only makeup, but that is like the only palette that I use on a regular basis and that I love. And I always take it with us when we are traveling because it has everything. I didn't even want to open it, honestly, because I just knew it was all gone. Oh, she's just like spreading on the floor because it's so hot for her. Poor Giddy has a very thick coat. I'm just gonna apply some lip balm while I'm doing my makeup. I'm just gonna use my by Terry Balm de Rose. I'm gonna apply some concealer. I love the applicator on this. Buff it in with my beauty blender. And I'm gonna use a little bit of powder to set it. I've got my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is great for under eyes. Woo! But it does go everywhere. Whatever I have left on my beauty blender, I just kind of pat in the areas where I get a little bit oily. I'm gonna go to eyes and I'm gonna use Bare Minerals 5 in 1. This is like a BB cream for your eyes with SPF 15 and I have it in blushing pink. So you can use it as a primer, um, but I sometimes I just use it on its own because yeah because it's me and I'm a lazy makeup person. What plans do you guys have for summer? We got any trips planned? We're going away very soon for Jay's birthday. I'm taking him away, but I cannot tell you where. You'll have to wait and see it on my Instagram <laughs> because it's a surprise for him. So I can't tell anyone. And in summer, we're definitely gonna go to Italy. Uh, then I am definitely gonna go into Bulgaria to see my mom with my dad as well and yeah I mean we can't we don't usually plan very in advance we have cancelled holidays before just because some jobs came in just gonna get my powder off then I'm gonna contour my face uh, when I say contour my face I'm just gonna take some bronzing cream my beauty blender dip it in put it on my face and yeah, that's it. There are no skills whatsoever involved in this. Every time you guys ask me to share my makeup routine or show you how I did the makeup on the day, 
first of all, I never remember what I used. Secondly, I am not that good at makeup. You know, I love skincare and you guys probably know that that's where my passion lies. When it comes to makeup, for me, the easier the better. And I'm of course happy to share with you what I'm using. And the, I still buy new products all the time, so I'm happy to share with you what products I'm using. But my makeup skills are not exactly, you know, I'm not an Instagram queen with like snatched eyebrows and you know nose contour definitely not me i don't even know how to do that so i'm gonna take my tom ford uh, shade and illuminate palette i have it in intensity one the thing with this product is that it can look very very dirty and very very greasy if you overdo it so i usually take just the side of my beauty blender dip in then kind of stamp it under my cheekbone and then I just blend it in with the other side of my beauty blender just to give it a little bit of definition I do like this product but it does get really dirty like everything sticks to the creams like any little hairs any dust you know if you have a cat it's, it's a total disaster sometimes I take it onto my forehead a little bit as well then I'm gonna use a blush and two of my favorite cream blushes at the moment are the Tata Harper a very sweet volumizing lip and cheek tint doesn't really give you that much color on the lips and a little it's a little bit dry on the lips I find but on cheeks it works really well and then the other one is the Jane Idale in touch cream blush and I have it in candid just gonna dip my finger in apply it on the apples of my cheeks well that will do let's do some eyebrows so with the eyebrows at the moment i'm even lazier than with everything else i just use my laura mercier brow dimension and i have been also tempted to buy the rapid brow um i've shared with you the rapid lash it's a serum that you apply on the roots of your lashes and it really makes them grow i have noticed a really big difference in the growth of my eyelashes after using it they also sell a rapid brow and that's to apply on your brows it's a growth serum and i was thinking that maybe it will fill my eyebrows a little bit more because as a 90s child i think all of us went through the time when everyone was over plucking their eyebrows and I did that too especially like here at the tip everyone really wanted like a thin thin line and you know I wasn't an exception so I did that too so I'm also gonna apply this little paint pot which is a H&M in shampoos and I really like these I have so many colors of them they're so easy to use super creamy quite pigmented as well so I'm just gonna apply it on my eyelid this has a bit of um, like a golden glitter to it so it looks really really nice then I'm gonna use some liner that is the only place where I do make an effort I like to I do like to use a liner because um, I have quite small eyes so it's nice to give them a bit of definition make them look a little bit bigger I'm gonna be using my Guerlain eye eyeliner and this is in Brune Sandra. So warm outside. I don't think my liner has ever been so liquidy. We're not used to this weather here. So no one has air conditioners in the house. Precision is not my strong point, by the way. If you haven't noticed yet. I'm gonna use a little bit of bronzer to make myself look more summery and more tan than I am. This is the Dior Nude Skin in 002, but I do really like this bronzer. It's a matte bronzer, so I'm just gonna take a big brush. This one is a Jane Idel brush. Like I shared with you in that video, I was using my Clinique and Marie Meko lip gloss, and this is in tender heart sometimes I do line my lips especially if it's a lip gloss um, this is a Kiko precision lip pencil in 310 I'm really tempted to buy some more shades in this lip gloss because I absolutely love the formula Let's apply some mascara. I'm going to be using my Jane Idale Pure Lash Mascara in Jet Black. And I love this brush. It has long bristles on one side and short bristles on the other side. It really separates your eyelash as well. And it doesn't give you that dramatic look, but it definitely gives you a very natural look. As if my 
eyelashes are you know black on their own which by the way I really want to get them tinted the tips of my eyelashes are super 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 blonde <laughs> like you can't see half of my eyelashes because of how light they are tomorrow with our friends we're going to a breakout room I don't know if you guys have them where you live it's where you have to like solve puzzles and you know find clues to get out of a room and it's we, we really like it we've been to a few now I'm not saying I'm very good at puzzles but I do enjoy trying and I'm just gonna use sort of a highlighter but it's not really a highlighter it's the tub of cream that I shared with you in the video this is the Egyptian magic cream it has olive oil it has beeswax and I love using it on just high points of my face so I usually just dab it here it reflects light really nicely gives you that beautiful kind of healthy glow which I prefer that kind of stuff to uh, chunky glittery highlighters which you know I do have a few highlighters that are not chunky and they do look beautiful but for every day or for during the day I actually prefer like a balm or something like that you can use your beauty blender to tone it down a little bit if it's too much so now I'm gonna just set my makeup and I'm gonna use the pixi hydrating milky mist it has a really nice mist like a look that's a good cloud, right? That is me done, you guys. I need to go get dressed and go to town and do stuff. Run errands, do things. So that is it. Thank you guys very much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, don't give it a thumbs up. That's okay, I will live. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and I will see you very very soon in my next video. Mwah.